Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is GGF, bringing you episode 38, two away from 40, of Let's Play The Lord of the Rings, Return to Moria. <laughs> Hope you guys are doing well. It is very early morning here. I am still a bit sleepy. It's, I guess, around 5 a.m. or a bit before 5. And uh, I just played episode 37, and it was a ton of fun. <clears throat> Our story is more. Um, we have a lot of cool stuff going on today. We're going to explore, um, possibly deeper down, um, in the second 70 fathoms down area. Not quite the lower deeps, but possibly the secondary route to the lower deeps. We'll see what happens though. We're going to head back to camp taking a large. Um, why did it start me down here? That's weird. Taking a large uh, stash back to camp. And um, should be good. Um, one second, guys. I want to do something. Okay, we're back. I noticed it's saying in court encoding overload. I hope everything is good with the videos. I have not been checking them. I've been editing the audio, but not checking the uh, videos themselves to see how they're coming out. Hopefully they're coming out okay. Um, usually they do. I don't have to worry too much, but you never really know with a game this graphically and uh, demanding, basically. And sorry if I'm sound a little tired and stuff, I am. But hopefully you still enjoy the uh, content here. Wish I could figure out what this meant up here. What does that mean? E, 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 E. Q, E. I don't know. Did I? Did I just eat? <clears throat> no, I didn't eat anything. Um, Alright, so... I was thinking of maybe somehow making... A rope path, uh, down from my base up here, like a rope ladder, but actually <clears throat> making like platforms along the way. <clears throat> it would take a lot of work, but it could be pretty cool to kind of just finally have a, a solid route up here. I don't know. Go ahead and grab the uh, fruit. Let's get. Oh. Uh, let's deposit some coal. We have a bunch of coal. Not sure why that coal pallet doesn't look the same as that one, but. Um, and we still have more coal. So let's throw a coal pallet over here. And deposit some coal, but let's actually keep some. And what else do we have? We have gems. We have amethyst, which is interesting purple jewel um, go ahead and make an iron ingot palette even though it's not much no we don't have much of it um, hopefully put it right here uh -uh. There we go. Very good. Darkness of Night Falls. Uh, still brewing. 
Let's get ourselves maybe a cool color of Nordic ringmail or Airborne ringmail. Red for the garnet, green, blue. Let's try that. Boom. Looking good. Red. I love it. I love it. Um, we have a black diamond to deposit. We have 20 cruise dual oats. We have um, hero tokens we haven't used yet. dried fruit in here. Stone in the stone palette. This one right here. Deposit a ton of it. Alright. Very good. Let's get something cooking up here. Oh, more dried fruit. Let's get um, Bjorn's honey cakes cooking. Um, what did I want to do? Put the fruit away. So we're starting to establish some, you know, some edibles. Hero tokens, cool. So uh, nothing new to really craft. We're close to that, but we need really a ruby. We can make the leather rather easily now. But essentially we need a ruby. And I'm not sure how to get a ruby. Um, let's go ahead and rest. The road goes ever on and on. Um, first light, let's craft stuffed mushrooms. Or how about a, uh, how about a meat stew? And maybe a second portion of it. <coughs> That's ready. Bjorn's honey cakes. Let's throw them in here. Get more cooking up. Uh, salted meat, restore some health. Cram takes cranberries and fennel. Let's get a little salted meat going. Um, the brew ready? Oh. It is tap, fill brew skin. Boom. So now we have hop goblet lager. Um, in the brew skin. Very cool. So I don't know how much that gives us. Um, 76 left, so I guess it gives us, oh, it gives us four, four drinks of the lager, which is very cool. We can take it with us. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Wait for our food, and then once we get our food, we will head down to the next location. Which is going to be um, somewhere. Do something somewhere. <laughs> uh, one second, guys. Bear with me here. One second, just wait for this food once, but doing something off camera here. Okay, um. Okay, food is ready. Two meat stews. Um, really only need one. We're well fed. Honorific. Huge 
stash. Let's head, um, let's head to the new area, which is Crystal Descent. Um, I'm gonna try to take down that troll, I think. Should be pretty good and interesting. shouldn't make too much noise, so let's not even break that. Let's see. Let's take a swig from the old brew skin. Snuck, who's the conquering? Um, I did not see the moose the con yet. But let's we got orcs. the con is up here Come this way maybe not kill the oh the carving maybe not kill the troll right now we come back here statues, pick up some of this stuff back here. Ooh. Definitely rebuild these, because we never built them before. And we get Belagost. Belagost ring mail. Oh my gosh. In the Kuzul Forge. It's armor tier 3. We need Shanor ingots. An ancient design of Shinor rings invented in the first age, adorned with hide and fur to protect against the fierce winters and cold. Cold deeps their clan faced. It's pretty nasty. Because, um. You know, it protects from cold and stuff. But what is this? Resin! There it is! This is what we need. We're gonna make noise, but it's okay. I'm not gonna sing. Would be nasty to get a ruby from this. through that rock and stuff and get more resin even but go with what we've got here so that resin is going to open up heck of new opportunities they assume sunken moss let's go 
back here and rebuild this. First age crossbow, wow. One out of three. Is that right there? Anything? Cranberries. You can always use them. Where is the Musnakan? We may have enough uh, carvings to open it if we go back and get the other carvings we have. What is this? This would be iron ore, huh? Iron ore in Eros granite. That's weird. We have cave honey. Oh, we're shadow curse? How did that happen? I didn't think I got that close to it. Oops, and we're despairing. Um, poke through here. natural fiber another statue up there is this salt oh silver ore Oh no. Huh. An orcish outpost. Tori's full though. First stage great sword. Oh my gosh. But we probably need a ruby, right? I would love a great sword right now. Two-handed tier three slashing. Oh yeah, takes a ruby. A lost design for a far-reaching sword hits many foes at once or hits one larger target for sizable damage. Charge to swing at everything in your area. Ruby though. What is this? Iron ore. Let's see if maybe we get a ruby from back here. gonna sing because it's dangerous. Huh. Shadow curse above. Three hundred seventeen fathoms deep. Potato. Huh. We have a lot 
lot of resin. Um, drop this cloth scraps and take the mountain potato. We can make mashed potatoes. Or, in other words, Mersh Perderter. Always love some Mersh Perderter. <laughs> um, no telling where to find a ruby. I think we came in this way. Oh, that's an orc outpost. Uh. Most likely with the chest and everything. Wonder if we'd find a ruby there. In their chest. I don't see the chest, though. Huh. at the troll and either way whenever the troll drops we can do something new we can drop amethyst which would let us use that new rune or he could drop a ruby perhaps And this is Who's the darkness? Ghost uh. where this Musicon is, I'd like to check it out. Maybe another carving or four. Another busted up statue, but we don't have enough stone. What's that resin? Precious gems. Two busted up statues. I would love to check them out, but not enough stone. There's more granite down here than stone. So stone's gonna be a little tricky to come by. We might have to bring our own. Guess we could take the resin back and do some crafting with it. Maybe let's try to fight here. Weapon for 
Uh, I'm able to duck under his swats, which is pretty sweet. stone if we drop um yeah I might drop all that Eros granite for right now oh let's uh let's eat something like a Lembus eat boom we were just about to die blossom wood topaz Amethyst, it looks like, yep. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna leave like the coal behind right now. The hide scraps, the cave honey, the shrooms, and I'm gonna grab the amethyst, topaz. We can always come back and get this stuff. Black diamond. We don't really need the... We can take down uh, trolls pretty well, though. I know how to duck under their shots, which is pretty nice. That's really tightly handled... Um, hmm. Hit detection. Right? Because, like, in a lot of older games, you would roll, but it would still hit you because, you know, it was like... They didn't have that sort of dis different hit detection in which, you know, like, um, you're able to roll under an attack like that. It's pretty slick, actually. Could get stone. We don't really need stone. I mean, we'll go back and get stone. Um, I'm going to head back up, though, with this amethyst and probably make... Some sort of uh, some sort of craft, either a steel battle axe, probably a steel battle axe, take on trolls, or make a maul for normal enemies. And uh, oh, there's the Musnikon. We can open it, guys. How long have we been playing? 28 minutes, yeah, let's go ahead and open it. Look. Garen's line. This Musnikon belongs to a Belagos dwarf named Garen. This must be the line of a Belagos royal. It is sad that much of their history has been lost. His family carvings must be nearby. I should return them to their place of honor. Oh, we still need three more, huh? I think I have two or three more. Back at the base. So let's head back to the base. A uh, lot to do down here. Very cool. But yeah, I might save the battle axe for like fighting trolls and just um, use a regular maul for normal enemies. So let's head back. We'll grab the carvings, which I hope we have three of. If not, we're going to have to explore a bit down here to get the last carving. Which I bet we can find one like up here somewhere. There's some more resin. Huh. No Musicon carvings. We'll 
find it though, guys. Let's head back. Um, we have new stuff to craft with the resin. Searching for that last carving. While we're here. Away we go. Yeah, the battle axe is a little slow for groups of orcs and stuff. So I would rather probably use the maul. But I'd like to get maybe the maul enchanted with um the frost attack. That seems like it'd be pretty cool. Oh my gosh. In shadow, get out of the shadow. Okay, we're safe. up. Alrighty. Let's go. <clears throat> Get my water bottle, guys. Bear with me here. Now that we have resin. Shh, quiet. I see prey ahead. <sighs> really going to be a game changer. See, I'd probably use this setup with the shields. Proper shield that lights up, gives us light. Than like a, a frost mall or something. Probably gonna save those amethysts though and not use it on a mall or a battle axe. Probably gonna wait for like the great sword or the sword. So for that again, we need a ruby. Once we get that ruby, we can pretty much make. A very powerful third tier weapon. a bit faster. The steel axe hits hard, but the maul hits pretty hard too, and it's just faster. Wouldn't get as easily surrounded. Pretty cool that we fought off a troll and, you know, a bunch of orcs. Deposit the granite. Our uh, salted meat is ready. Let's see, two more amethyst, two more topaz, another black diamond. Alright, what 
about, um, what do we need resin for? Recipe list, uh, stove? We don't have a stove, but mashed potatoes takes oat milk. Great Forge of Norvi. Hi, it takes resin. We have 138 resin now. Oh my gosh. Revenge. Um, first Age Crossbow, we don't know yet. Crucible Forge. Belagoth's Gauntlets. Take that Shanor ingot. Not sure what resin is for now. Um, oh, it was something here, wasn't it? Tiled hearth, larger fire that allows nearby building. Provides warmth and can cook better meals. 24 resin. Tiled hearth, a larger fire that allows nearby building. Oh, alchemical still. If we make bronze ingots. Upgrades a nearby tank to brew advanced ales. Roasting pit, slow cooks meals over an open fire. Uh -oh. So those are upgrades. All right, let's go ahead and make a tile hearth. Uh, we'll, I guess we'll cancel, we'll destroy this hearth. Build a tiled hearth. What? What happened to all our stuff? Oh, we have to build a stone hearth first, I see. Oh, there we go. Now we have access to this stuff, so let's build the tiled hearth. Um oof. Guess over here. Uh, wow. Um, actually, maybe outside the home. Boom. Bed plus one. Ooh, bed plus one. stuff. Weapon rack. Stores and displays up to four weapons. Nasty. Wall display. Hangs a shield, weapon, or pack on the wall. Armor stand. Seth stores and displays one set of armor. Nastiness. Alright, so we have the tiled hearth. Um, how about the, uh... make two more silver ingots if we can. Yeah, add blaze room and add make two of those. Top hearth is outside, but that's okay. Bed plus one. Um, Numenorian cloth. We can craft that up really quickly. Loom, this is great, man. I love the, the base building. It's so fun. And we'll put a bed. Um, get rid of this bedroll. Put a bed right here. Mansion bed. Wow. And at the tile hearth, we can craft anything we want. And it goes on the meal table over there, I guess. Nasty. Ingots are cooking up. Meanwhile, we have a bunch of resin to put away. Um. As well as other stuff like salted meats, 
sunken moss. All right, let's put the salted meat away. We need a limbus in an emergency situation. Um, boom, cranberries, mountain potatoes. These potatoes grow large like boulders. Shrooms of resin in the sunken moss. Let's see. Moss scraps. Pile? Is that a possibility? No, it's not. So let's just stick the resin in here. Um, Blaze room. Oh, wait, there's, there's meat in there. Let's grab that. Let's grab those. Camp two. You orc felt! I'll tear you down! Still nobody can come here. I love it. Um. Put the hide scraps there. Grab this meat as well. This all goes in here. Not me, it's fruit. <laughs> Lay shrooms. Making quite the mansion, guys. <laughs> Get lost in here. Lay shrooms. Well, in here we have a bunch of blaze shrooms. We have two Garen's carvings, so we need one. We need to find one more in the wilds. Other seeds. Right here we can build wall display hangs a shield, weapon, or pack on the wall. Can do a wall display right here. Is it crafting it? Is it crafting it on the inside? I'm not seeing. Oh, I have to. I have to turn it around. See, just ended. Huh? I can't build it on that narrow wall for some reason. on here. Wall stuff is hard to hard to place. Alliance mode. No, I want to add the last line shield, which I don't remember where we put it. It's 
it's around here or somewhere. Oh, we might have, we might have. Yeah, we might have not actually. Uh, let's go ahead and put the. Uh, I don't know. I don't even like that now. Go ahead and destroy it. Get wood scripts. Um, a weapon rack, though. It's pretty interesting. Oh, it's huge. Against that wall would be awesome. And we'll just put all our stored weapons there that we're not using. Probably use the Eregion Spear. I don't think we're going to be using that anymore. Nasty, guys. I love the decorating of the house. I think that's a very cool feature in games like this. Um, and in four, I guess we'll put like wood scrappies. Actually, wait. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, what else is there to hang up? A steel, can we hang up an iron hammer? Oh, that's an iron hammer. I need an armor display too. Do I have a uh, first stage pickaxe we can hang up probably? Maybe the steel hammer, we'll check that out. And we'll grab the Iron Hills gloves. Maybe make an armor display. Armor stand. Right there. Nasty. Um, open. Put the gloves there. Uh, we have to get some out of here. Miner's helmet, the Iron Hills armor. This will be back up in case we need it. I don't have an extra set of boots. Uh, let's see, what else? Put armor down there. How uh, can we put steel hammer here? First stage pickaxe and steel hammer and can't add the uh, open take uh, open yeah. Oh, it's only got four slots, that's why. So instead of the Orc Bane Iron Axe, let's see if we can put the First Age Pickaxe up there. Okay, and the Orc Bane Iron Axe. Actually, well, yeah. That's good, let's put, uh, oh, we're starving. I'm doing all this work, and... Uh, and these skewers another armor display or another weapon rack right there it was it did just as this part um, put the orc bait there nasty nasty Cool. So we're ready to go for next time. That's faux show. Um, we should go back and grab that shield wall shield back at the uh, 
um, forge. I think we'll go ahead and do that, and we'll put we'll do that for next time. We'll add quarry master there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We're 50 minutes in. I didn't realize it's that long, but thank you for watching. Um, stay tuned for more. More fun to be had, whether we're building or exploring or just doing whatever. It's a ton of fun. I'm having a blast with this game. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Oh, let me... um. Yeah, that was bad. Let me build that top hearth a bit back because that was not a good spot for it. Right, right back there. There we go. Add a little more room. Okay. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay cool. Be well. And uh, much love, peace, and joy until we meet again. Awesome. See you guys then. Come on back now. We'll have some more fun. <laughs> Bye-bye.